Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do my August favorites video. August has been such a busy month for me. I started school, I had sorority rush, all kind of things going on and it flew by so so quickly so I don't have too too many things to show you but I do have a bunch of products that I've been using all month because like I said I have been really busy so I haven't really been buying any makeup I've just been using the things that I have so first I have a hair product and it is the Nexus Superior Hold hairspray this is amazing I have used this ever since I can remember um, I think I started using this maybe junior year of high school so I've been using it for about six years and it's the best hairspray I've ever found I always come back to it I've also used the comb through they have a comb through one that's really nice I don't really notice much of a difference between the two but my hair holds curl fairly well but with this it doesn't make your hair feel like crunchy or like hairspray your hair feels natural it doesn't look like you have hairspray in it it's just amazing and the curl will hold for days another hair product I've been enjoying this month is the got to be powderful I just discovered this a few weeks ago and it is bomb.com if you like to tease your hair but you don't want to damage your hair because I know teasing can be really bad definitely go check this out what this is the powder you put it on your hands and rub it together and it's kind of like a tacky sticky feeling and then you put it in your roots and it gives you instant volume like an instant tease I never tease my hair just because it's bad for it and my hair is naturally curly so I have a little bit of volume I'm not using this now but whenever I want that extra umph definitely try this out I've used this on some of my friends that have really fine hair and it really makes their hair look voluminous and healthy and it's just amazing very inexpensive two or three dollars and you won't have to tease your hair and it's just so so easy and I love it so definitely go check this out if you can find it next I have three products from the balm I love their products so so much I know I've talked about a bunch of their products before but they're on Hot Look a few weeks ago and I took the opportunity to grab some items that I've been wanting the first is this blush it's called Down boy and it's a really really pretty pink blush like a baby doll pink blush and these are so creamy very finely milled and extremely pigmented I'm wearing this right now and it gives just the perfect everyday natural pink flush and I think it would be great for all skin tones the next thing I have from them is their Bahama Mama bronzer I've been looking for a new bronzer because if you watch my channel you know that I love the elf bronzing duo and I just hit pan so I took the opportunity to kind of try something else and this stuff is really really nice I'm wearing it now it's what I use to contour and it lasts forever it doesn't get splotchy and it's a nice matte shade the thing about this that you do have to be careful with is that it is extremely pigmented I mean it is dark so if you have fair skin I probably wouldn't recommend using this because it is really dark definitely a little bit darker than NARS Laguna or the elf one that I use but it works you just use a little bit and a little goes a long way with this contour and it's just amazing I love it so much and my last product from the balm is Miss Mary Luminizer I have been wanting this for so long and I finally got to get it and I love it this is a beautiful white goldish highlight it's right in between the silver and the gold so it's a nice in between I'm using that as well it gives you the most natural glow to the face I use it on my cheekbones and the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow now to a makeup brush I've been using every single day this month it is the real techniques buffing brush this is perfect for liquid foundation and powder this is really a multi-use kind of brush you can use it for contour for blush for foundation for concealer really anything I've been mainly using it for foundation and this is so cheap this came in the core collection from real techniques you can get it at Ulta and I believe it was $17 for four brushes so this is a few dollars a piece and it's definitely worth it I mean I use all the brushes in the collection but I've been using the heck out of this brush so it's so soft synthetic fibers go check it out if you're looking for a new foundation brush because now I'm going to talk about two concealers I've been loving first is the Maybelline dream Lumi highlighting concealer in the color nude I did a favorite concealers video where I talked about this but I haven't been using this as a concealer this month I've been using it to clean up my brows it's great for highlighting the brow bone and cleaning up your brows if you fill in your brows so I've been loving this. Next is a concealer I didn't mention in that video because I recently started using it. I've only had this for about two weeks. And it is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser in the Neutralizer shade. I did talk about the medium color because that's what I use for under my eyes. But this is the neutralizer. It's more yellow based and I use it as a highlight oh my goodness it is amazing if you like that bright under eye look you will love this it's yellow undertoned which is perfect for highlighting under the eye I have a few eye products first is this Jordana best lash extreme mascara 
oh my, this is so, so awesome. I don't know why it took me so long to find it. Someone had recommended this to me, and I finally found it at Walgreens. It was up by the cash register in the beauty department, so where they have, like, some miscellaneous makeup, and they have Jordana up there. And this was, I think, $2.99. Really, really affordable. And it's what I'm wearing now, and it is one of the best mascaras I have ever used in my life. This makes your lashes voluminous and long. It makes you look like you have false lashes almost, and... I'm just amazed on how good it works and how cheap it was. So if you're looking for a new mascara, I would definitely check this out. So I have an eyeshadow and it's the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Bold Gold. I have Bad to the Bronze and I love it. I use it all the time. But I've been wanting to try this one out because I love wearing gold eyeshadows and it didn't let me down. This one is a lot more sheer than the Bad to the Bronze. You do have to build it up a little bit, but it's a perfect base for gold eyeshadow. This is a little bit darker than Half Baked from the Naked Palette if you have that. And then it's a little bit lighter than Max Woodwinked, which is another one of my favorites I will show you. It's a perfect base for gold eyeshadow. It makes the eyeshadow adhere to it and stays on all night. And this is perfect as an eyeshadow by itself. I have two MAC eyeshadow favorites. First is Woodwinked, which is right here. And this is a beautiful antique gold color. A little bit darker than Half Baked from the Naked Palette. So it's great if you want to put a lighter gold all over the lid and this kind of in the crease. It's also great as an all over lid color. Gorgeous. I think it's so flattering on all skin tones. Definitely brings out the warmth in your skin. Another favorite would be Mold Cider, which is right here. This, I believe, was a limited edition color, but I've been using it so much as a crease color for days where I don't really want a whole lot of eyeshadow. I just put a little bit of this in the crease. It's also great if you want to do a cut crease, and it's just a brown with warm reddish undertones, and it's absolutely beautiful. Now moving on to lipsticks, my favorite. I have three this month. First is Revlon Soft Nude. I love this. It's a perfect carefree nude. It's a nude with more of orangey pink undertones. It kind of reminds me of Max Shy Girl if you have that color. I always have this in my purse for a carefree lip. I can just put a little bit on, maybe put gloss if I want, and I'm good to go. My next favorite is a MAC Sheen Supreme, and this is in Fashion City. I use this in my Gleaming Bronze tutorial. It's a beautiful, nudie orange color. So if you're afraid of wearing a coral lip, this would be perfect. It does have orange undertones, but it's more of a creamy orange versus a bright, intense orange. The Sheen Supremes are in between a lipstick and a lip gloss, very comfortable to wear, so I definitely recommend trying out any of the Sheen Supremes, but I've been loving this color. I think it's a great summer transitioning into fall color, and I think I'll get a lot of use out of this this fall. Then my last favorite is what I'm wearing now. It's my Revlon Just Bitten Balm Stain in Honey. I'm sure you guys are sick of me talking about this, but it's just so amazing. This color in particular, I wear it like every single day. If I don't want to wear any makeup, maybe just foundation, bronze, or mascara, this is perfect. Perfect. For my tutorial I did with this, it's just, it's just perfect. It adds just enough color. It's not overwhelming, but it evens out your lip color and adds a little bit of definition, and it lasts forever. So that's all of my August favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to leave a video response of your August favorites. I'd love to see what you guys are loving this month. I hope you guys are having a wonderful month. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I will see you later. Bye. <laughs>